Former President of the Soviet Union Mikhail Gorbachev passed away at 91, after years of serious illness and spending his last days in oblivion. While Gorbachev is remembered by the West for ending the Cold War, the Russian media and leaders recalled his monumental failures that led to the collapse of the Soviet Union and plunged Russia into an abyss. His place in Russian history is complex with nationalists and stalwarts generally viewing him as a dupe or a traitor, mostly because he oversaw the collapse of the Soviet Union. Members of the former Soviet bloc praise him as a far-sighted liberator who tried to free them from the yoke of corrupt totalitarianism. Like millions of Russians, Gorbachev rose from the ruins of war, famine, and state-inflicted terror and aspired for a better future for Russians. His presidential years were eventful as he forged partnerships with the US and other Western powers and effected the fall of the Berlin Wall and brought about the reunification of Germany. But his internal reforms, combining economic and political liberalization called perestroika, weakened the Soviet Union to the point where it fell apart which Putin once called the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century. His policy of glasnost allowed criticism of the party and the state, but also emboldened nationalists who pressed for independence in the Baltic republics. When pro-democracy protests rocked Soviet bloc nations in 1989, Gorbachev refrained from using force, which Russian leaders would later say was a struggle in vain to prevent the collapse of the Union. Russian foreign policy experts opined that Gorbachev's romanticism about rapprochement with the West had been misplaced and Russia is still dealing with the consequences. Gorbachev is accused of believing in then-US Secretary of State James Baker's oral pledge that NATO would move not one inch eastward, and this pledge is a matter of controversy between Russia and NATO to this day. Many years after his unceremonious exit from office, he criticized Western policies toward Russia and the enlargement of NATO, but the West, which once honored him had long abandoned him.